built a couple of Wraith Lords with Bright Lances on them. The Bright Lances will take care of the Death Dreads like you see right there really quickly. And then the Wraith Lords can move up and start taking care of infantry. Here the Eldar called in some Warp Spiders. And my tank buses are going to use the Mortar Shot on them. But the Warp Spiders jump down and start taking out the, the tank buses. And so I'm going to gather my few units that I have left and try and move them up. My war boss here goes up and pressures the Eldar, even though he really can't do anything about these two Wraith Lords. He's just trying to hold them at bay. But I try and bring him back. And the Eldar have gone through another webway gate here and engaged my Sluggas. So the Guardians are getting ripped to shreds by those Shudas, and the Sluggas are taking care of the farce here, so she's forced to retreat once again. Okay, so the Elder are pushing back really strong with these Wraith Lords, and we don't really don't have much to counter them. We have some Tank Busters who are pretty good at taking out vehicles, but that's all we really have. And they're not up on the front lines yet, so we just I kind of just have to wait patiently there with my Slug and my War Boss because they can't do anything about it. And so we move back a little bit, and I try and grab my Tank Buster squad and bring it up to take out some of these Wraith Lords. Fortunately, the the Wraith Lord, the Bright Lance on the Wraith Lord was really good at taking out the Death Dreads, but it's really not doing much against our infantry, so we're really only worried about that default cannon on the arm of the Wraith Lord. And it, it allows our orcs to hang out for a little while. I'm just going to move my Sluggas up so that my Tank Busters can get through and try and take out these Wraith Lords. So the Tank Busters are a pretty... Uh, like all orc things, they're not really great, they kind of miss a lot, but when they do hit, they do a ton of damage to vehicles. And so, we take out the Wraith Lord there. So the Elder are, are casting the Eldritch Storm here on us, which is a really powerful spell that does a ton of AoE damage. And fortunately, the mech and the war boss retreated in time and got out, and it didn't do too much of a... it didn't impact us too much. But if that had hit our orcs directly, they probably all would have been wiped out. Here I go, I ignore the Wraith Lord because those sluggers really can't do anything about it, but I attack the Warp Spider and I cast Wa, which will increase the, the attack and the speed of the orcs. And it stacks on top, so if you have two slugger squads, the effect will stack and they'll become even more powerful. So the Warp Spider is forced to retreat and he gets out of there. But unfortunately, my sluggers get caught by two shuriken cannons and a wraith lord from both sides. So instead of trying to do anything else, I just get out of there. So I reinforce my tank busters here and look to build some more to take out even more of those wraith lords. So at this point, all my all my resources are at my base. So all I really can do is watch my teammates try and take down these wraith lords, but. With just Shooters and Ludas, they can't do too much. Ludas can actually be upgraded with Beamy Death Guns, which actually would do a lot of damage to those Wraith Lords, but unfortunately we, we just had the Daka version. So I put a knob on that squad. The knobs in the later game are more effective because really the Sluggas, they can't do a whole lot against larger units. So the shooters are still having a hell of a time with the, the Wraith Lords here. And now the other are pushing forwards with shuriken cannons. And you can see D cannons coming across the chasm there. And so if we can't get to those soon, they're just going to ravage all of our orcs. So it looks like we've taken care of most of the Wraith Lords. But now we have shuriken cannons and other platforms like the D cannon pushing forward on us. And it looks like the commando was killed over there. So the mech boy has built a shield on himself, which is going to help out later in the match. You can see the shuriken cannon keeping the orcs at bay through that one choke point. And the tank buses on the north part of the screen are trying to take out the webway. But that D cannon is still ruining our orcs.
So finally my orcs have arrived and we're going to try and push forward on these Eldar and put some pressure on them. So you can see that the VP, uh, the VPs are in our favor and so if we keep pressuring the, the Eldar, they're going to be too busy defending against us rather than actually recapping VPs. So we decide to push into their base here. But you can see another Eldritch is being cast there, and that's going to kill a lot of those orcs. The mech fortunately survives because he had the shield on him, and now we're going to try and counter with rocks. But unfortunately we do it a little too late, and we end up catching nothing. But it at least did push the Eldar back a little bit so that we can get our troops up in there. So my tank busters are going to move forward and start working on the base here. And meanwhile I'm going to run my sluggas in and try and tie up anything in the back. I don't think we realized how powerfully entrenched the Eldar were at their base though because they have shuriken cannons and D cannons in the back which are just going to do a ton of AoE damage to my sluggas and my war boss. And the tank busters try and use a mortar barrage to knock them over and prevent them from firing but I don't think it's enough so we need to retreat out of there. Meanwhile, back in my base, I've built a looted tank, and I'm going to move that forward. And it looks like the Elder do have a decan, which is using its black hole ability here. Uh, the black hole will just suck in anything, uh, friendly or otherwise, and just kill it all. And so here's another Eldritch. And so those two abilities have really wiped out our offensive force. And we're going to be forced to regroup and try and come back another day. You can see at the top that the, at the VPs are now tied. The Eldar are starting to push back pretty powerfully. And so the game is pretty much at a stalemate at this point. And it was rather close to the end too because the Eldar only had nine VP tickets left. So I moved my tank up here to put pressure on this farce here. She unfortunately has already capped the middle part. And you can see the D cannon shoot across the chasm and do a ton of damage to that looted tank. So I need to kite backwards in order to not get hit again. I don't think the other player is paying attention because this Farseer is just chasing a tank that's annihilating her. But he clues in right here and retreats. So I gather up what I have left from after that powerful D cannon singularity and the Eldritch. I need to repair up that tank. Fortunately, Sluggas can repair vehicles, so I send my Sluggas in to repair my tank. So the Eldar have decapped our point at the top now, and so they have all the VPs in their favor. So our tickets are gonna, even though we have quite a big VP lead, our tickets are gonna start ticking down really quickly. So we need to get back and recap the VPs if we want to win. So my tank's all healed up, and I'm just gonna move up to the top here. So I kind of mess up the micro here, and I'm trying to move my guys forward, but I haven't realized that my tank's kind of blocking the way. So I need to move the tank out of there. That damn mech boy on our team's back out in his looters cab! The warp spider Exarch has not so much health left, and I'm going to try and go over there and kill him. But what happens is... The Eldar player figures that I can cast Eldritch on my tank, and I try and move it out of the way, but I'm too late, and the tank gets annihilated by the Eldritch. But fortunately, I did get the Warp Spider. And I have another tank on the way, so... So my War Boss is going to recap that VP there. The Elder players have three VPs on their side, so they're taking down our tickets. But if we just grab two of those for a couple of seconds, we're gonna we're gonna knock off their nine remaining tickets and win the game. So I'm gonna bring in my tank here to support my war boss and move my guys forward, just so that nothing can prevent my war boss from capping that point, because that's all we really need. So I cast rocks to knock out that shuriken cannon there in the back, and then I advance up my sluggas. Meanwhile, the tank is just going to fire at everything. They have nothing to counter the tank, so I'm going to move my guys up and just create a shield for it. I cast Wa again, so that's going to buff them. And they go after the farce here there. And so my war boss has recapped that point, and right now my allies are recapping another point on the map down at the bottom. And you can see the VPs just tick down there, and it's pretty much a good game at this point. 
So I just have to hold out it for a few more seconds here, even though I don't really have much left. And that's it, that's the game right there. Here we have the post-game stat screen. So you can see Relic28, the mech in the game, got the champion, so he got the highest score. Mine was close behind. Uh, the points that you accumulate in multiplayer add up to your rank, and so as your rank increases, you unlock cool new war gear for your units to wear. And that's it. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the beta.